Hey guys and girls, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. We are back with a bit of a PSA, a public a service announcement. Alright, so for those of you who are familiar enough with what's been going on, you've been following my Twitter, you've been following my other videos, you'll know that I had a big issue regarding my computer. I lost a lot of my cloud stuff, I lost a lot of my random stuff all over the place. Uh, it's just telling us we got up to 60 golden keys and I lost a lot of other random stuff um, this includes a lot of my pre-saved videos I did a lot of pre-recordings as you probably are aware from Borderlands 2 uh, and also Borderlands the pre-sequel um, both of them have been completely lost and unrecoverable uh, if you're a tech head, don't bother. I've checked all the Windows 8.1 forums and everything like that, and you're probably sitting there going, eh, Windows 8.1. You're right, it sucks. But I was on Windows 8. Windows 8.1 is better. Uh, but the upgrade destroys all your system restore points. It wipes most of your files. And yeah, I did not have them listed under my personal files, so it got wiped. Uh, I've tried everything. doesn't work. Alright, cool. So, we're going to get off that little about the topic and back onto this. We are currently... I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I farm Slappy. Because I'm in the area, I talk about it a lot in the last couple of videos. So, we're going to do a little bit of a Slappy video. And we're going to just move on from there. So, as you can see, I've hit level 50 in, Leg in Siren. Uh, which is nice. Uh, my weapons have had a massive upgrade. Uh, sorry, yeah, my weapons have had a pretty nice upgrade, and I've gotten some pretty sweet um, shields. That's the word I've been horribly searching for. Uh, let's just drop a grenade, bro. Grenade, bro. Throw that because it's like a grenade. All right, stop with all the splody stuff, guys. And stop. Alright, um, you will have to forgive me, I'm in the middle of conversations with not only my girlfriend who's out at a function at the moment and will probably need to be picked up anytime soon, sometime soon I should say, not anytime soon, and I'm sort of talking to one of my friends who also runs another channel um, who I know in real life. He's a good bloke, um, actually we're not really, I don't think I've subscribed to him, well that seems pretty stupid. Uh, grenade, because it's got, like, healing packs on it and shit, and that'll help me out. Um, I will drop, hopefully, his stuff in the descriptor. Ah, uh, SMG. Cool, so, the slappy spawn is what I was actually talking about, and what I wanted to talk about, so we're going to talk about that. Slappy spawns here, you need to do the quest before you can do it. As soon as you touch the water, bam, there he is. I run up here immediately. Jump, hit the ladder, roll the f up. Yes, uh, I am swearing again. I've been playing Metro 2033. <gasps> Spoilers. Um, and that has been a hell of a lot of fun. Um, and it's also uh, enough s scary enough that I'm sitting there going and swearing a lot. Um, so I'm trying not to. I at least did bleep myself. Uh, so Slappy is your pretty much a standard thresher except for size. Um, here he comes. Yeah, aim for the eyes as you would expect. Uh, he's he's level 45 creature. I'm only getting 108 experience but it's what he drops. Um, which is Iridium and Blues and he, he's got a pretty sweet uh, shotgun that I've been after for a long time and I can't seem to get. Cool, so things we picked up. I uh, got that from a vendor. So, uh, uh, this is new. This is new. This is new. And that's new. Uh, oh, this is new as well. That's also, I think, pretty new. That's not so much. That's not so much. So, yeah, a few new little bits and bobs, but I'm level 50, and as promised, 
um, I'm just going to do is the quick way where you save and quit and it goes back to the loading screen and you go back in and then you use the fast travel um, yeah so that's how you do the farming because you respawn him by logging out logging in that saves your progress so that's pretty cool um, I'll go back to sanctuary and we'll do loot so part of the PSA was to inform you guys that there's a section of the video that's going to be missing from what I happen to have to right now. So there was a little bit, I can't remember exactly where I left you guys, um, but it was like Roland had just been saved and then we're going to go see Tiny Tina. I was up to Wilhelm and so forth and I was alluding to the fact that I had to redo Wilhelm anyway. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, I, I'm sorry. Look, these these things happen. Um, it's out of my control. Uh, I'm not going to go back and redo it. I'm not going to start again. This is the True Vault Hunter playthrough, so you can probably expect that I put tons of hours into this already, and I'm not going to go back and try and refilm something just because of an error. Um, but I'm going to push through, and we're going to continue through to the rest of the campaign. And at the it's flat off oh I'm sorry um, <laughs> we're gonna try and continue on uh, so let's take that off I usually use that and the down is usually my SMG or a sniper rifle because um, they usually use either a assault rifle or a sniper rifle sorry assault rifle or an SMG and a shotgun in one spot so let's take that off that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet too. What's the fire rate on that? 8.7. Oh yeah, well the the, the assault rifles firing a bit faster. Amazing, uh, so it's quicker too. All right, so let's swap out for our premier a sniper rifle, so we can do the compare side by side. And you can see the little bottom left hand corner, right hand corner. Um, this sniper rifle is oh, just under 4,000. So it's 3,900 points of damage more has critical hit damage of 200, oh, sorry, 120%. This one has nothing, ah, uh, but it does do electricity damage. But this one's a flat off. Wow. Just, that's why. Just, look at that fire rate. Oh, so pretty. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's trash that one. Um, oh my god, so pretty. I'm so happy with that. Alright, so as promised, every five levels I do five of that. That was number one. This is number two. Um, oh, another sniper. Another Vlad off. Oh, four extra bullets in the clip. Its reload speed is quicker. Its fire rate is quicker. It does a lot less damage, but oh, it's a, it does exactly. Well, well, sorry, I shouldn't say exactly. Um, what's that? Three thousand nine hundred less, but does three thousand six hundred in electrical shock, but doesn't have the critical hit. And this one is a Jacob's. Oh, it's a turret one. Oh, the spinny. Oh, not my faves. Um, this is my assault rifle. Bouncy bullets. That's two. I don't think we got anything out of that. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, elemental relic. Eh. Max health, 36%. That's pretty, that's nice. That'll come in handy once upon a time. Um, cool. So this is, this is number four. Shield, bullet absorb, max health. Um, so we go down... 14,000 because of the net loss for 22,000 in shields. Worth it. Oh man, look at that shields. Oh, because of the percentage chance of the other one. Ah, uh, percentage bonus. Oh my god. 65,000 shields. <gasps> Last one. Come on. Ooh, grenade mods. Uh, we don't really need a grenade mod, but that will be an upgrade by a lot. Extra child, extra 7,000 damage per child, fire damage, always handy, and they've also got transfusion. What's this one do? Uh, let's pick that up. Let's put that one on. Alright, cool. A couple of nice upgrades. Awesome. 
Alright, so when we come back with the next episode, we'll be continuing on with the Wildlife Exploration Preserve, and we'll take that through to its conclusion. I promise you it will be a much longer video than this one currently is. I just wanted to give you guys some information. wanted to make sure you guys were up to date with what's going on in Armstrong Gaming. Um, we've had a couple of changes all over the place. Uh, we've changed our banners. Uh, a couple of nice guys on the Freedom Network have made me some free banners. They're wonderful people. Um, it's Exalt is the guy who did it. Uh, he's got his channel. Uh, if you look under my subs, you will see him there. He is a good bloke. Um, to follow on from that, we have new games to replace some of the games that I've lost. Uh, over the past I've lost MLB, I've lost um, Warhammer 40k. Um, that's just gone. I wasn't putting any effort into it anyway. And my save game file is gone, so it's out the window. Um, what else is gone? Mass Effect 3 is gone. I uh, wasn't feeling it. Plus, all my save files have gone. Plus, I don't have my install disk anymore, and it's corrupt to begin with. Uh, I got barely got it working the last time. That was just pure luck that I managed to get on the computer. Um, it's gone. Um... And there's one more that I've gone, I've gotten rid of recently. Oh, I can't even remember. It's, uh, oh, South Park's gone. Um, it was a bit of fun. Uh, it was my swearing, oh my god, shit's changed game. Um, I loved swearing, but I found the gameplay was getting completely repetitive and wasn't really having that effect that I had with the first time I played it. So I decided I needed a new game. Metro 2033 will replace South Park. I've already played the first episode of it. Oh my god, do I ever swear and do I ever crack the shits? Oh my god, I found it incredibly scary and I think I've overhyped myself on it. Um, thinking it's a horror game, I have chronic nightmares. Um, it's going to scare the shit out of me. I'm going to try and see if I can get myself a um, webcam to show you guys exactly that I'm not just putting it on because it is actually quite scary for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's another shooter. Um, we're going to be changing up Borderlands to pre-sequel because my save files are gone. Uh, I will probably get off Claptrap and do one of the other guys if I decide to continue it. I haven't decided yet. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of the pre-sequel stuff. Um, the consensus amongst a lot of my friends is it is nowhere near as good as Borderlands 2. And I c concur, it's not that good. Is parts of the gameplay are annoying me. The Australian accents are annoying me. The actual gameplay, so the jumping, it's just this too many things that are absolutely annoying me with what 2K Australia has done with that game. I am unhappy, but that's me. You might be happy. I hope you are. No, I wish you the best. But anyway, um, and there's another game that's coming in to replace uh, the strategy esque game, and we will be playing Torchlight 2. Uh, Torchlight 2 is the bastardized sister uh, of Diablo 3. Uh, I say that with good and bad intentions. It never had the money to be able to do what Diablo 3 did. Um, Runic Gaming, um, who did stuff like Warhammer 40k and other things. Um, I think that's who it is. No, that's Relic. I'm just getting confused. Runic Gaming have worked on the earlier Diablos. Um, they took everything from Diablo 2, so if you love Diablo 2, you will love Torchlight 2. I love Torchlight 2, it's fantastic. And Diablo 3 is also good. And I will tr try, I'm trying to work out what I want to do with Diablo 3. I can't, I seriously just cannot work out what footage I want to show. If you're seeing this and you're a Diablo 3 fan or you're not sure what it is, look into it um, and tell me what you feel as though I should do because I'm pretty much up to doing anything at this point with it. Um, Alright, so that's it for me, Matt. Uh, this is Armstrong Gaming. This is the PSA episode for Borderlands 2. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Enjoyed doing this game at least. Um, it's no Borderlands the pre-sequel, thankfully. Oh, a little bit of lag. Uh, Alright, that'll end it up today, guys. I will catch you later. Check out the descriptor for my mate's YouTube shit. I will speak to you later.